Hi and welcome back. This is part two of the float and reamer holder. Uh, these plans are available from Nigel Walton. If you haven't watched part one, um, go back and you'll see how we made the actual uh, shaft and the, the um, detailing on that shaft. So in this part, we're gonna have a look at the drive plate. So this is just a simple turn and job, so I didn't bother to film that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put these four slots in and these in turn will sit on these pin drive pins. And in the center here we've got a piece of high speed steel which will help protect that against the pressure of the ball bearing what sits in the center of the shaft there. So anyway we'll, we'll lock tight that in at a later time. So what we'll do we'll set this up in the mill and we'll machine these four slots down to size and then that will be that part done and then we'll have a look at the next part after that uh, which is going to be the actual chuck carrier so anyway we'll get on with this first and we'll get that machined I put some layout die on and then just scribed across the centre line so we'll set that up in the middle And we'll use the wiggler to find the edge and then we'll centre that and find the dead centre. So we're now dead on centre line, so we'll change this over for the end mill. So our slots have got to be 9.5 deep by 5.1 wide, so I've got a 4 mil uh, end mill here so I'll just have to once I've done our cut just make them slightly wider to take them up to 5.1 so once we've done one we'll do you know the other three uh, I'll just do this first one and then I'll do the rest off camera So that's the drive plate all now finished. Uh, just got to do a bit of deburring and a bit of final polishing. So next is to move on to the chuck carrier. So my chuck carrier is uh, B16 taper. So we're just going to set the lathe up for that now. And we wind the top slide in. We've got the top slide set up to follow that taper so we can machine that dead to what this is so what we'll do now we'll take that um we'll take this out we'll put the piece of uh, 4140 in and we'll start to machine that
So I've had a bit of a whoopsie and the, the taper was all going well. I was machining it down, machining the face and I wanted it to end up with the chuck sitting roughly about this point. But the trouble is I went a bit too far and it's sitting at this point. But no good to me. Um, if I want to ever get the chuck off, I can't because I can't get a tool in the back there. I wanted it to end up something like this. So anyway, so that one's no good. So I remachined it again off camera and I've got the taper all now nicely machined where I need it to. Uh, it's all nice and polished up and we're now sitting where we want it to sit. So like I said, I want to be able to get a tool in here to be able to force this chuck off if I ever need to or if I want to replace it with a keyless or something like that. So anyway, so that's all the front end of the part done. Um, so this is the pit, what we've now machined. So now we need to machine the diameter down to 37.7. Once we've done that, we can then put the front part in and then put the taper in. And then we can take that out, flick it around and face the back. And then we'll take it over to the Miller machine and drill for the pins. So we've machined that down to a diameter of 32 mil and it's um, two mil deep from this front face here to the back. And what we need to do now is set the um, compound up to put a 20 degree taper coming down here. So we'll set up for that and then we'll cut that taper. So this part's all now finished. All I've got to do now is just drill in the top here for the two locating pins. So what I've done is I've, because um, it's got that taper on the back, I can't hold it in the vise anyway. So I've put it in the chuck and then mounted the chuck in with a V block just to hold it in position, squared it off. So the top of this is level to the, obviously the spindle. I've got a piece of eight millimeter drill rod in here and I've drilled a rod, uh, drilled a hole and reamed it to eight mil. And we'll just find that location And there we're going in that hole. So we know that's centre, so we'll zero the DRO. And then we'll move out from the centre 12.5 and then we'll drill our first hole.
So that's the chuck carrier all machined. So all we've got to do now is just uh, put these pins in. So just use a bit of Loctite for that. They should go in quite easy. So that's that part made now. So so those parts all finished and all that's left to do now is make the nut. So that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.